everybody, Brandy here. Thank you so much for following my CPTD journey. I am stepping away from the regular journey so I can show you a little bit about Rome Research and how I use it to study for my CPTD certification. All right, so here's the interface right here, and you'll see the date on the top. This is just a general note, and there's really no hierarchy into these notes. They're linked by directionally, and I'm gonna show you how that works and what that means today. So you'll see the date up here, and then you'll see that this is Rome Research Training and Lesson 1, How Notes in Rome Are Connected by Directionally. When I clicked onto that link, this opens up the page that I'm linked to, and then it also shares a few bullet points of things that I wanna to talk to you about today. And first, I wanna to talk to you about the connectedness and stickiness of this method. So you'll begin to see how all of these things are connected together, and they begin to create a web of knowledge where I can make connections that of things that I'm reading, listening to, and watching. Also, it makes it sticky. You'll see here how I go ahead and go in and add in my own notes so that I can connect it to existing schema that I already have and make it more meaningful for me. Second, I capture ideas from the TDBOC directly inside of this Rome product. And I'll show you how I do that in just a moment. I link the ideas to one another so that the connections make sense to me, and of course, I brandify it. And I'll show you at the end how I do that with some recordings that I've been making along with uh, the playlist that I use to record those inside of YouTube. All right, well, let's take a quick peek here. Here's lesson one, and I'm just gonna start by showing you what I have here in my TD box. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and I've just created the table of contents for the TD box. I'm only covering the things that are covered on the exam. So you'll notice not everything is inside here, just those capabilities and areas that are covered on the exam. So let's go ahead and look at 2.1 Learning Sciences. So I'm going to click on here just to show you. When you open up the learning sciences, I've taken, I'm in the prep course, so I've taken the key points and I have pasted them in here. This is not something that I share with anybody, so it is protected as far as copyright goes, but it'll just show those different points so that I can refer to those later. And then what I do is I go into the specific pages. And so this one is 2.1a, the knowledge theory. So let's go ahead and open up that page. And how I start with this is I put in the information that I need to know, which is up here. And then I go in very specifically and find out exactly what's covered on the assessment. And so right here, the very first thing is Malcolm Knowles adult learning theory. And then there's some other things that I need to know as well on here. So let's take a look at this Malcolm Knowles adult learning theory. What I've done is I've created a to-do, so this is something that I wanna learn. When I'm done, I will check it off. I've gone in and I have made this sticky by adding my own notes about what these words mean and very specific, specific information about the points that I wanted to remember inside of his adult learning theory. And I have those down here as well. And then the bidirectional notes that I was talking about, you'll see here Malcolm Knowles Adult Learning Theory. This opens up a page and everything that I have tagged at, to Malcolm Knowles Adult Learning Theory comes up on this page. So I click it, here's the information. You'll see that there are three linked references. The first linked reference comes out of the knowledge of facilitation methods and techniques. And really what I've noted here is that facilitating training works best for adult learners. As I'm looking through this, what I know about adult learners, I know that the facilitation will be much better than direct teaching or presenting. So I noted that here. Also, the other things that we were just looking at that page that came up earlier, you'll see here that to do that I have, and then I have some more information. There's drop downs here, things that I wanna remember that are connected as I went through and read through the TD Bach and other places. You'll notice up here as well, if you go over to the adult learning theory, as we're going down, if I see anything else that I want to remember, I will just basically place it inside of here. So if I would listen to a podcast or watch a video, I can put those kinds of things in here. I can put notes from those things in here, and then I can begin to tag things multi-directionally so that if anything else comes up in the TDBOC, in any of these other chapters, 
I can go in and I can tag that to Malcolm Knowles. And then I'll begin to see that those ideas are connecting and interconnecting. And I can go back and brandify it a bit. And when I brandify it a bit, basically what I'm doing is I'm creating brain tapes. For those of you who followed my journey, you realize that I do this. This is my own YouTube channel. These are unlisted videos that I've created in the different areas of the CPTD certification study. And you'll see here that there's 18 videos. I've watched it 60 times. And basically all I do is I put my headphones in at night and I have this on a playlist. So it's my CPTD brain tapes. I put it on shuffle play and I just let it go because our brain, when it goes into those deeper levels of sleep, I just very quietly let those ideas go into my subconscious. And then when I wake up in the morning, I may just quickly look through my notes so that I can really solidify it and make sure that it sticks. So I hope this was interesting for you and that you find it valuable and you can use some of these ideas on your own.